Hi guys, in this video I'm quickly going to show you how to apply an inset to an object. Now this is going to be a short video, however you do need to pay attention to the process. So I suggest you grab a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and follow me as I go through the process. Before we start, I should say that I won't be using any add-ons here. I know there are some great add-ons that help make the process much faster, however, they are all paid add-ons, and there are many reasons that someone might not want to use them. Okay, let's start by setting up all the objects we need. First off, I'm not a monster, so I'm not going to delete our lonely cube. In fact, it will be the main object that we will be applying the inset to. In addition to the main object, we need another object that tells Blender what region we want to apply the inset. So I'm going to add a cube, scale it down, and move it over to the corner of our main object. And I'm going to rename this to Cutter. We're not done yet. We still need a third object, which we are simply going to create by duplicating our main object. I'm going to name this one Duplicate. Now, to have the inset effect, we need to keep this duplicate right on top of the main object. However, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to move it to the side so we can see them separately. I will eventually move the duplicate back on top of the main object to get the final result, but not just yet. At this point, we have all the objects we need. Now, we're going to add some modifiers to our objects. We only need two different types of modifiers for the inset effect, the boolean modifier and the solidify modifier. To start off, we're going to select our duplicate object and add a solidify modifier to it. Set the thickness value to 0.5, set the offset to 0, and select the even thickness option. That's it for the solidify modifier. As you can see, when you add a solidify modifier to an object, Blender will take every face of that object and add some thickness to it. In our case, this thickness is 0.5. At this point, we're done with the solidify modifier. Now we are going to add some Boolean modifiers. We will eventually need two separate Boolean modifiers to get the inset effect. For the first Boolean modifier, we are going to select our duplicate object, add a Boolean modifier at the bottom of the stack, set it to intersect, and set the target object to be our cutter object. What this Boolean does is that it removes any region that is outside of our cutter object. So effectively, our duplicate has reduced to a shell-like object and we can later change the thickness of this shell using the solidify modifier. That's it for the first boolean modifier. The second boolean modifier we are going to apply to our main object. Let's select our main object, add a boolean modifier, set the target object to be our duplicate, and for now set it to union. As you can see nothing happens, that's because if you remember, I moved the duplicate away from the main object. So first, I'm going to move the duplicate back to its original location, and then I'm going to change the modifier on our main object from union to difference. And there you go, we have our inset effect. At this point, you will notice that not only did I not apply any of the modifiers, I didn't even go into edit mode for any of my objects, not even once meaning that the entire process is indeed a non-destructive way of applying an inset effect. And what's nice about this non-destructive workflow is that we can quickly and easily make changes. For instance, the region of the offset is determined by a cutter object. We can easily move it around and scale it. In addition to that, we can go to our duplicate object, go to its solidify modifier, and change the thickness, which in effect will change the depth of the inset. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoy the video and your coffee. 
Let me know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos like this.